Well, the uh, mainstream media uh, has been complicit in uh, this attempted coup. The uh, mainstream media has prepared through a conundrum of fake news, uh, a, an atmosphere that uh, the uh, public should accept uh, this regime change imposed by the United States on the people of Venezuela, because ultimately it's supposed to be for the good uh, of the Venezuelans. Now, uh, this reminds us of uh, the run-up to the Iraq invasion of 2003. Now, the mainstream media supported all the lies, all the manipulations uh, of George W. Bush and of uh, Tony Blair to convince the world that uh, Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction. And on this excuse, it was made somewhat palatable to world public opinion that uh, you would enter uh, Iraq and change the government by force. Now, the fact is that here you had not only a crime of aggression, uh, not only an illegal war, as uh, former uh, the late uh, Secretary General Kofi Annan, uh, in more than one occasion, uh, stated, uh, here uh, you have actually a revolt of 43 states, the coalition of the willing, against international law. If there is one tenet of the UN Charter that is use cogens, that is peremptory international law, is the prohibition of the use of force. And uh, this attack on uh, Iraq was conducted by 43 states in collusion, breaking all the rules of international law. Now, that was preceded by this media campaign. Now, we have had, uh, for the last years, actually, a media campaign against Venezuela.